So I just beat Stalker 2 and it took me around 50 hours. I do have some critiques which I'll get into, but generally speaking, this game was phenomenal. So let's talk about the good stuff. Stalker has a massive open world with surprisingly meaningful exploration. There is just so much content jammed into this game. Almost every location you come across will have something to do, whether it be just finding a stash, fighting some enemies, or helping someone who is captured, only for them to give you a quest to go to another area to pick up their stash as a reward. The game is also surprisingly difficult. It's very tough, but it's very fair, at least most of the time. This is due to the enemy AI being fantastic during firefights. They'll give each other covering fire, flank you, flush you out with grenades. The mutants, on the other hand, take up a whole other level of difficulty, usually messing with your controls. I really appreciated the variety of combat situations, especially early on in the game. And most of that is thanks to the great weapon variety at least at first. You'll have access to plenty of different guns for different occasions, all with their own upgrade trees. But you'll also have to upkeep your guns with repairs regularly, otherwise they can jam during combat. There's also a surprisingly robust biome variety. Sure, it's mostly just grassy fields, but each zone has its own distinct flavor of fauna to keep each area from looking the same. Speaking of variety, I don't think I ever came across a copy-pasted building. Structurally, they might be similar, but it's really impressive considering the scale of the game. And lastly, the story was surprisingly good. Characters do talk a little too much, but the thing that really surprised me about Stalker was meaningful player choices that would affect the entire story. And it's not just a choice near the end of the game that affects the ending. You'll get your first choice about 15% through the main story, and you'll get a couple more choice options further on. But there are definitely some issues with the game, so let's talk about the bad stuff. The main quest has terrible mission variety. That is to say it has no variety. Some dude tells you to go get a thing, so you run to the location, constantly stopping for your stamina to recharge, and once you get there, you fight way too many enemies, get the thing, and get out. I just described every single mission in the main story. The worst part is that about halfway through the game, they introduce enemies wearing exosuits, and you kind of just keep fighting them until the very end. The main issue is the sheer volume of enemies. No joke, every mission has an army worth of these guys you have to kill all by yourself. I actually really enjoyed fighting them. I just wish that they weren't part of every single mission. If I'm being honest, the only reason I even started the main story was because I got locked behind progression while I was exploring. There's a few select locations on the map that require story items in order to enter. But one thing that was hugely disappointing was that the main quest gives you the best loot in the game, so it trivializes exploration. Another major issue with this game that they hopefully patch very soon is getting your files softlocked. I'd recommend quick saving constantly because you never know when the game's gonna break. But none of these issues spoiled my enjoyment of Stalker more so than the horrible optimization. Sure, it looks really pretty, but that comes at a horrible cost. The recommended specs for this game are completely false. If there's one thing that would make or break my recommendation of this game, it would be its performance right now. Despite everything, Stalker 2 was fantastic. And let's not forget, later down the line they plan on adding multiplayer and DLC. As to whether or not I would recommend it, I can totally understand if you give it a few months for some updates to roll out, but by no means is this game as broken or unplayable as Cyberpunk was day one. Like aside from performance issues, this game is fully functional. I just had to load my file every now and then. But unlike most games where it feels like the product is rushed, Stalker's issues more so feel like oversights, which is completely understandable considering the sheer scope of the game and the fact that the developers are dealing with a real-life war in their country. 